when a planet rolls down the hill into a black hole, because a black hole warps time and space, which is actually a real fabric, uh, as we know, uh, the planet will acquire more velocity uh, depending on how how um, how steep uh, the incline going down is. So as it rolls down the hill into a black hole, it will acquire velocity up to the speed of light and maybe just a little bit beyond that. So uh, the uh, extreme gravitational field of this uh, object, uh, the event horizon, uh, will uh, actually uh, bend the fabric of time and space and that dictates how fast or a velocity the planet will go into a black hole because each black hole is different uh, because we don't know if, uh, if that black hole is, uh, has an extreme uh, incline or not. So each black hole may actually attract objects at different speed maximum depending how, how, how steep the incline is. Like I said, uh, you can reach up to the velocity of speed of light or maybe just a little bit more than that. But there's another way to actually acquire uh, faster and faster the speed of light itself and uh, the concept is pretty easy uh, my, my, uh, my idea and my concept pretty much is a rip and tear into the fabric of time and space basically an opening not a wormhole not a black hole basically a tear opening when there's an opening or a tear uh, doesn't create a dentation doesn't warp time and space it's just like just going along, driving around, and then boom, object just falls into it. There's a, a this object will be dark. There'll be a opening in uh, or a hole in uh, time and space, the the fabric itself. So any object falling into it will uh, be traveling uh, extreme velocity, faster than speed of light. As we know, uh, uh, free fall objects travel faster than any object rolling down a hill, meaning that this concept will allow an object to travel faster than the speed of light than in a black hole or even in a wormhole. So basically this concept will allow uh, objects to actually travel faster than the speed of light, like I said, faster than a black hole, faster than a wormhole, because even in a wormhole, uh, you actually are actually traveling on a surface or rolling down into a surface. So that rolling, uh, rolling down, it, it takes away your velocity. But if you're free falling, you're going to be falling at maximum speed. Actually, you're going to acquire the speed as you fall and then go into the maximum speed, which is faster than speed of light. So any object free falling is, is going to, in, in, time and, in this opening, in this rip in time and space fabric, will allow you to uh, free fall uh, and acquire velocity and more in velocity until you reach uh, faster than the speed of light. Obviously, as you, as you fall, you're going to fall into another fabric or another universe. Okay? And then you got to do the same thing. You got to create another rip and tear and then fall onto the, another, another and another. So you could, you could do this concept of creating a small uh, rips and then have that object just travel uh, beyond, uh, beyond uh, our universe. Uh, uh, extreme velocity, extreme uh, speeds. And once you have that opening, it'll stay open. It doesn't affect the universe. It doesn't affect time and space. It just you just have an opening, and, and anything in there will fall into it. So uh, let's say let's say this is uh, the universe, and it and it bends this way and this way. So you create a opening here, opening here. And opening here, so an object will go through this all the way this way, a high velocity. Imagine you had to travel time and space all this way. You could do that multiple times. If, if how many folds the uh, the universe has, you could travel multiple times to reach the point you want to reach. So this is the fastest way. Uh, like I said, it's faster than uh, black holes faster than uh, wormholes because free falling is a lot faster than both those anyway how would you actually tunnel uh, one of my concept ideas is pretty much we know that planets have uh, dentation underneath the fabric of time and space because of the mass so 
So like the sun, the earth, and the, and the moon, and the stars, they'll, they all have a temptation. This temptation right here. Uh, even as the earth rotates uh, around um, in motion, and around the sun, it is spinning itself. It's not going to really affect the, the fabric of time because it's the, the planets are so smooth, just like marbles. They're not going to do any damage to the fabric of time and space because they're so smooth as they, as they, as they spin around. But what if you have a mass object spinning and it's got a uh, it's got a extreme uh, pointy uh, edge on it, uh, just like you drill, uh, you know, a drill and a uh, you know on a uh, a drill gun, you know, drill bits, whatever you're going to call it. Uh, they they have a a, um, a pointy edge and, and it's got a uh, just like a, a typical drill bit, but this object is as you can see. Uh, I try to make a, make a circle, like just like a planet. But it's a shape of a, a shape of an actual a pointy a drill bit. It will actually, uh, because of the mass, will puncture uh, time and space as it spins around. First of all, it's spinning around the sun. Let's, let's, okay, let's say it's spinning around the sun, or it's stationary. Uh, if it's stationary, it's still spinning this way, but it's got mass. And if it's got a lot of mass, uh, it doesn't have to be. That heavy, just as long as it's got enough mass and rotation or g forces spin, then I will actually create a tear of time and space. Not a wormhole, not a black hole, but a tear where uh, once this object goes through, it's going to fall faster than the speed of light.